Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this five minute makeup look for when you're wearing glasses or even your favorite pair of sunnies. You're gonna get the best makeup look for your glasses, but also how you're not gonna get those little marks right here from your glasses. Cause y'all know, I hate that. Like I literally hate that with a passion. So I've devised a few little tips to help prevent those little marks from coming. I also have two different lip options for this makeup look because I feel like eye makeup is hard to wear when you're wearing glasses, especially lashes. So I keep the eyes very neutral whenever I know I'm gonna be wearing glasses, but sometimes I like to spice up the lip color. So I have this really pretty nude, but I also have this red lip if you wanna go for more of a bold option. So make sure you stay till the very end of the video so that you can tell me which one you like like better, which one you're gonna rock, which one you're gonna wear, and which one you're gonna slay with your glasses. Hit that little subscribe button right down below and turn those notifications on so that you never miss out on a video, and there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Y'all ready for this? I got back from Toronto yesterday. No, the day before. So this is the first time I'm filming like since I got back and I feel so weird. I don't know why. Like I feel so like out of whack as if I haven't done this in years, even though I was only off for like five days. So I act a little crazy. That is why. We're gonna be starting off with some primer. And this is brand new. This is from Benefit and it's the Professional Pearl Primer. It actually has a luminous finish even though it has the same texture as the original Professional, which is really important because when you're gonna be wearing glasses or sunglasses, it's important to have more of a mattified base because you don't want anything to be slipping and sliding around, especially when you're you know, wearing something on your face. So this guy's perfect. I especially like it because it does have that luminosity to it even though it is more of a mattifying pore filling primer. Silky smooth. <laughs> this actually really does leave your skin feeling very silky smooth. <laughs> you can actually use an eyeshadow primer along this area right here so that your sunglasses don't make as much of a mark in your makeup. It really does help and I think it's definitely worth the extra step. This is the best eyeshadow primer for this step and it's really affordable. It's from Wet n Wild. It's the Photo Focus eyeshadow primer and I like it because it has a lightweight consistency so it blends in pretty nicely although it does give your skin a little bit more grit so that our makeup doesn't slide around as much once we have our glasses on. And while that primer sets in I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with my elf ultra precise brow pencil in the shade medium. I feel like it's really important to use a matte foundation when you're gonna be wearing glasses or sunglasses just because again you don't want anything slipping and sliding around your face you just want it to be set into the skin so that it has has the best possibility of staying on your face while you, you know, wear your glasses. So, yes, it's happening. I'm bringing back my my favorite. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 228 Soft Tan. I'm just gonna be applying that with a beauty blender all over my face to get a nice even base. This is probably the longest part of this whole tutorial is blending in the foundation. I'm late to everything, but when I was in Toronto, you know, I was visiting my friend Jess and she gets like really bad anxiety when I make her late. So basically I had to get ready in like five or 10 minutes every single day, which is so unlike me. It usually takes me like an hour to get ready. So that's why I've been really doing this routine and sticking to stuff that is fast to do, but really gets you out the door. Then we're just gonna do a real quick round of concealing underneath the eyes, down the middle of the face, and blend that in with a beauty blender real quick and easy. And I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I feel like I really needed that concealer to hide my bags. Last night was lit. Last night I went to like this huge benefit party. It was so much fun. It was like a Friendsgiving. So it was, oh my God, Thanksgiving is tomorrow, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys. If I haven't said enough, I'm so thankful for all of you. I love you guys so much and I'm really excited for what, you know, what 2018 has to come. I've got some really fun projects in the works. Honestly, I'm so forever thankful for every single one of you that like watches my videos and comments. And you know, I notice like the ones of you who comment on every video and leave me so much love and positivity on every single video. And like, you don't know how much that means to me. You don't know how happy that makes me. And it, it honestly really does. So thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, there's hella events over the next few weeks like for the holiday season, I think so it's gonna be fun times. Make sure to follow me on snapchat because snapchat fam is the best fam. That's all I don't need to say anything more than that, but snapchat fam you guys are the true homies over there Okay, you guys are there do or die when I wake up when I'm traveling when I lose my passport going to Toronto when I was getting lit at benefit like I freaking love snapchat and I love my snapchat fam so yeah, all right, I digress. We are gonna do a little bakey bake with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This is an amazing 
super mattifying powder and I actually like to bake it all the way up to the nose and that's my friends. That's gonna be your best friend when it comes to those, uh, you know, marks right there where your glasses sit. So you wanna bake underneath the eyes, also down the smile lines, and then bring it up onto the nose so that we really set that makeup in and lock it into place. And I know that baking obviously takes a little bit of time. I only bake for about a minute and then I'm pretty much using that time while I'm baking to do my bronzer. And we just, we're gonna skip contouring altogether. That's what I was doing every time when I was traveling, like when I was putting my makeup on while I was in Toronto, I was just skipping contour, but bronzing while while I do my baking so that we're kind of utilizing our time smartly and we can still fit this in like five minutes. This is a proven and tested five minute makeup tutorial because I'm telling you, I would five minutes. Flat. And I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and just gently sweeping that over the cheeks in a three shape with my Morphe R7. I do like to put on a little coat of something shiny on my eyes just to have a little something something, you know? So this is the Natasha Denona Crystal Top Coat in the shade Nude. And I just take that with my finger and go ahead and apply a little coat. And like I said, it's just something shiny to, uh, to fill my little glitter heart desires. So pretty. This is actually all I was wearing yesterday at that benefit party. A lot of you guys on Snapchat asked me like what eye makeup I was wearing, literally just this, and then I popped on some lashes, which today we are not wearing lashes because I absolutely hate lashes when I'm wearing glasses because they like, you know, they sit up against the glasses and like it's hard to close your eyes. I hate that. So we're just gonna go in with some mascara. This is my favorite mascara in the entire world. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, and I'm just gonna do a really small coat. I am going going to um, curl them lashes real quick and then just do a little coat of mascara. But this mascara is bomb. This is what I call time management. As soon as uh, you start baking, just finish off the rest of your face and look at that, look at that. Honestly, who would I be if I didn't add on some highlight, right? I'm gonna be using the MAC Cosmetics Oh Darling Extra bleh, Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This stuff is so bomb, you guys. It just makes your skin look like it's wet and glowing. It's just, it's absolutely stunning. Because the face is so neutral, you could really use any lip color for the lips, like whatever you're feeling. So I thought I would just give you two options that I personally like to wear a lot. So this is the Sleek Makeup Major Matte Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream in the shade Daydream. It has a really nice lightweight formula, so you know, I like it. And for this bolder look, I'm using Too Faced Cosmetics Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Lady Bowls. The last step is just to spray yourself down with some of the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. You can see I really tried to keep the face makeup matte because that's definitely what's gonna hold longer throughout the day, especially when you're wearing glasses or sunglasses on your face. Whether you are gonna be wearing sunnies or eyeglasses, I hope this helps you guys out. I know that I didn't actually do this in five minutes because I was talking you guys through it, but trust me, when I was in Toronto, when I was traveling, I was just whipping this out. So I know that you guys can do it in five minutes or less and just be out the door and be ready to go and be happy with how your makeup looks with your glasses, making sure that it doesn't create those little lines here and everything like that. Like. We're golden here. We are golden. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below which lippy you liked better. If you like the red lip or the more neutral nude lip. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you wanna see more of my videos, if you wanna see more fun makeup stuff coming your way, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be good to go. And that is going to be it for me today. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next time.